This is our introduction to exercise 4 due to finding the equation of a line, page 258 of your textbook. We're going to start with doing a do-now question where we're trying to find the gradient and the y-intercept for our line. Okay? Like I said, this one's a little bit tricky, but the first thing we have to do is trying to get y by itself. The mathematical way of saying that is to make y the subject. So I want y equals blah, 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 blah. The first thing I did was minus 2x on both sides. So I ended up with the negative 5y, I haven't touched that yet. Minus 2x plus 10. And then I want to get y by itself. So I've divided by negative 5 here and there as well. Because remember, if I divide by something on both sides, it's divide the whole thing, not just one of the terms on each side. So it's the whole thing. That simplifies to y equals to 2 over 5x, because the negatives cancel each other out. And positive 10 divided by negative 5 becomes minus 2. From there, we can get all the information we need. The gradient, remembering the gradient is always the number in front of our x, so in this case, 2 over 5. And our y-intercept is always the number after the x. What's wrong with me doing this? <coughs> What's me writing just 2? What's wrong with that? Thank you very much. It is negative 2 because it's minus 2. Good, negative 2. Great. Now we need to sketch the graph. Right? All I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and draw my axes here. I'm going to roughly do this one. Maybe a little bit less rough. And then I'm going to go ahead and draw my values in. I know that my y-intercept is negative 2. So I'm going to go ahead and put that down here. Doesn't have to be perfect. Does not have to be perfect. And then let's find other points. In this case, I feel like it'd be easy for me to just put in y equals 0, because that would give me my x-intercept, wouldn't it? Yeah? So if I put in let y equals 0, <coughs> that would give me my x-intercept. My x-int. And I'm just going to put that in my original equation. That makes it nice and easy. If y equals 0, then it's 2 times x, so 2x. It's minus 5 times 0. I don't even write that. I'm not going to bother writing that. Equals 10. And divide both sides by 2. x equals 5. So I've said that when y equals 0, x equals 5, which is this point right there. 5, 0. And then I just draw a line. Just to be clear, you could have picked any point. You could have picked any y value, any x value. But I just picked this one. You can pick any one. Any questions about that one? I'm hoping that by this stage we've done enough practice with that kind of question. It is very different, but I'm hoping that we've done enough practice with that kind of question. Let's look at today's content. To find the equation of a line in a gradient intercept form, y equals mx plus c, you need to find the value of the gradient using rise over run. We already know that. We already know how to do that. The value of the constant by observing the y-intercept by, or by substituting another point. All right, let's start with an easy one. What is the y-intercept of this? <coughs> what is the y-intercept? Where does my line intersect with the y-axis? Negative 4. So, c equals negative 4. You've already got one of those. Easy. Let's find a gradient. Remember, it's rise over run. Let's go from left to right. It's always left to right. From this point to this point, how much have you risen? From here to here. Just looking at the height difference. Yeah? What's the difference in height? What's the height of this one? The height.
height, not the left and right, the height. Zero, good, because that's that's our x-axis. That's y zero. What's the y value of that one? Negative four. So we've gone down from zero to negative four, haven't we? So how much have you risen? Negative four. Yeah, because we've gone down four units. Good. Okay. What's my run? How far am I going across from here to here? How far am I going across? Perfect. How'd you get that? Yep, so we're going down four, that's that four we mentioned earlier, and we're going right two units. So rise over run gives me this, which simplifies to negative two. So the rise divided by the run. Okay, again, it'll come with practice. Now that we have that, this is pretty easy. I just need to put that in my equation. Y equals MX plus C. Or in other words, in this case, y equals negative 2x minus 4. I've just put in the numbers that we've got from earlier. That's it. Any questions about that? Okay. The other type that might be a little bit trickier to deal with is if there's no c value given to us. Okay? This really is a process thing, so please make sure you pay attention to this one. Find the equation of a line which has a gradient m of one third and passes through the point 9, 2. I'm going to start with my generic equation. y equals mx plus c. What information do I know already? <laughs> what information do I know already? What can I just write in? Perfect. That is correct. Absolutely, we can put that. But what's the easier thing to put in? That one. And then we'll put in that information. Yeah. It tells me that m is one third. So I'm going to rewrite the equation. I'm going to replace m with one third. Now, the thing that Daniel was mentioning earlier is that, well, I know the coordinate here, 9, 2. It goes through that point. In fact, that 9 is the x value when the y is 2. I'm going to write this, you don't have to write this step every time. I'm going to write sub 9, 2. I'm going to put that point into that equation. The reason I'm doing that is because I don't know what C is yet. I'm going to put that in. I'm going to replace Y with 2. Equals 1 third times by X plus C. So 2 equals 1 third times 9 plus C. 2 equals, now 1 third of 9 is 3 plus C. I'm going to solve for C. C becomes negative 1. Now the question is not asked for the value of C. But it's asked us to find the equation of the lines. So all I do then is rewrite this but replace C with the value we just got. It is a very process heavy. It's difficult for us to learn this process if we don't practice it. Are there any questions?